Clio tutorial, how to use Clio legal case management software. Let's get started. All right, so welcome back. And uh, today, guys, we're talking about Clio.com, a comprehensive legal management platform and designed for lawyers and legal professionals to streamline their practices. So uh, Clio offers tools to handle case management, uh, like billing, client communication, and many more all in one platform so in this tutorial i'll show you how to navigate the interface or dashboard so we'll go ahead and explore its features and demonstrate how it can transform your legal workflow so first i'm going to give you an overview of these sidebar features right here so once you log in into your clio account so you'll see a neatly organized sidebar on the left hand side so this sidebar contains all the key tools you'll need to manage your practice efficiently. So here's a quick overview. So here the dashboard provides a snapshot of your day-to-day -day operations. That includes um, upcoming tasks, um, appointments, and performance metrics. So, and for the calendar, the calendar integrates with the platform like Google Calendar or Outlook to manage your appointment and deadline into one place. So for the task, so the task section helps you track the uh, to-dos and assign tasks to members with due dates and priority levels. So for matters, this is the uh, central hub for case management. So all your cases like documents, um, clients information, are stored here for a quick access. So now uh, for the contacts, so you can easily organize clients and vendor uh, information, uh, link them to specific matters, and keep everything at your fingertips. So activities, um, this is where you can track the billable and non-billable time expenses and activity logs for accurate billing and for the billing a clear billing system lets you generate and send and message invoices uh, effortlessly it even support online payments um, like paypal and many more now under the accounts so this section helps you manage client trust accounts and operation accounts with built-in safeguards for compliance uh, documents so store organize and share legal documents securely in the cloud now you can also integrate with tools like uh, dropbox or google drive uh, communications track emails um, and phone calls uh, you can also log communication and integrate with platforms like Gmail or Outlook. And the reports. So this is where you generate detailed reports on firm performance, uh, financials, and client activity to make data-driven decision. App integration. So Clio integrates with over 200 plus application. That includes uh, the uh, e-signature tools, accounting software and legal research platform and many more. So as you can see, uh, there are a lot of application integration that you can do. So once again, over 200 applications and all of these helps you with managing your legal document. So finally, the last step, the settings. So this will allow you to customize Clio for your firm needs, including user permissions, notifications, and integrations. Now, after the quick overview, let's move on on how to actually uh, use Clio. So the key features, the dashboard and calendar. Now in this dashboard, so this will be, uh, this is basically a quick overview of a every single uh, basically details of your Clio website. Now here you can see the pending task and the recent activities for example. So your task due date um, let's say today or maybe next week. So you'll see it uh, here on your dashboard. 
Now it's going to uh, to list it here. So basically the dashboard is the uh, summarization of everything in the single data that you need. So moving over to the calendar, you can schedule appointments right here. And like I said earlier, you can link them to specific cases. Um, you can integrate as well Google uh, Calendar right here and some other uh, application um, with calendars. So for example, setting a hearing automatically updates the relevant case file, setting a specific date. So basically you can link it here to a file. So which make it much easier to organize these files right here. So under the task, so this will allow you to break down your workload. So you can assign tasks to yourself and other team members. And you also uh, can do uh, set the deadlines and track the progress of that specific workload. Now I'm actually going to show you by uh, tapping on a new task right here. And we can enter the name of the task. So let's say it's a priority. If it's high, uh, normal, or low. So the description of the task, which is pretty important because you have to write the description so that you know what it's about and uh, who it's assigned to, the type of the task, uh, what type of task is it, uh, the task status, whether it's spending, in progress, in review or complete. Now the time estimate, so like for example, how long it, uh, it took you to complete or how long it will take to, to complete this specific task right here. And then uh, the due date, so obviously it's the deadline. And then you can even set a reminder right here so that you can be reminded to do this task. And um, that is how you can actually create a task over here. So if you want to create a task list, you want to simply go over to the task list over here. And then you want to tap on the new task list. Basically, um, here's where you can list every single task. So let's say you have different tasks for only one case file. You can name this the name of the case file and then list those tasks that is related to this file under this list if that even makes sense. But that is how you can organize your task into one task list. So just simply tap on save or and close and it's going to uh, make a task list over here. Now onto matters, all case related information is organized in one place. You can add documents, track be, uh, billable time, and even link communication to specific cases. In billing, you can generate invoices in just a few clicks. So tap on either new bills or a new trust request. So I'm going to tap on one right here. And basically, you are going to want to uh, look for the billable clients over here and then choose them for your bills. If you want to know about uh, more about the process of billing under Clio, you can tap on this section to learn more about Clio's billing. So with the robust integration in setting, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that is the overview of our Clio.com. Whether you're managing a small practice or a large firm, uh, Clio provides all the tools you need to stay organized, efficient, and compliant. So I think that will be all for today. Well, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.